This was World War II. And this is how we remember it. On film, black and white motion picture film. And this is the way it really looked. This is the way it looked to those who were there. This is unique color film, the most comprehensive color record of the war in Europe. My father was George Stevens, the film director. He started out as a cameraman, and before the war, he directed films like Alice Adams with Katharine Hepburn, Gunga Din, and Swing Time with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. He left Hollywood in 1942 to serve in the Army Signal Corps, and he was assigned by General Eisenhower to organize the motion picture coverage of the war in Europe. His special coverage unit shot 35 millimeter black and white film and much of it became the record by which we remember the war. He also took along his own 16 millimeter camera and some Kodachrome film. And with it, he and the men who traveled in his Jeep shot a kind of personal diary. And from time to time, he sent the film home in these boxes to our house near Toluca Lake in North Hollywood. After the war, the color film ended up in a storeroom where my father kept the things that were important to him. For decades, these boxes of film remained there, unexamined, until after his death. You are about to see the war the way my father and his colleagues saw it, and to hear their recollections of those times when each day was an adventure and hopes for the world ran high. We begin in London in 1944, where he assembled the team which came to be known as the Stevens Irregulars. And these are men who were way past military age, who were all rather pacifistic. Not pacifistic when it came to dealing with studio heads or perhaps in a brawl in a, in a nightclub, but all the very liberal men who, one and all, they gave up very lucrative and very prestigious careers and went.